But there's another world record going on here apparently. I haven't seen him, but someone else told me. He's going for uh, fastest marathon while dribbling a soccer ball. So he needs to get 329. So he should be coming past me at some stage because right in 330 pace. But uh, if he does get the record, remind me to take that down in another race in the future. No need to remind me, going for the record today. So fastest marathon dribbling a football. Uh, the time or the record at the moment is three hours, 29 minutes and three seconds. So again, I don't really know how hard or easy it is. I'm pretty confident about it. Like I think I can definitely comfortably run under that, but just like my other records, I haven't practiced it. I did want to try and do it, but I was having trouble finding decent paths to, to run along and dribble the soccer ball. So I did find one eventually, but it was too late then. But um, I'm looking forward to this because I don't have the hassle of the costume records where you have to take a, a photo every two kilometers. Because there's no costume, you don't have to take a photo. But um, the only annoying thing is it has to be a fee for approved ball. So instead of paying $5 for a ball, I had to pay $35. But it's, I guess it's still cheaper than most other costumes. And um, yeah, it seems like a, I didn't really have any choice because um, my luggage is still lost. I did have one costume in my hand luggage. I thought it would be approved by now because normally it takes two weeks. And it has been two weeks, but it still hasn't been. So this is really the only option. I think it's a good race to do it. It seems like it's really flat maybe like a few gradual uphills and downhills, which might be a bit tr tricky to keep control of the ball. But um, overall, it's pretty flat. Weather's perfect, it's like maybe low teens. And it doesn't seem to be too many people in the marathon. You can see a lot of people behind me, but they got a half marathon of 10K, which were way bigger. I looked at last year's results and it said there was maybe only 200 people in the marathon. So um, if I did this in a big marathon, it would just be chaos. Like people would be tripping over the ball or accidentally kicking it away. So um, yeah, it should be good. And I'll see you at the start line. Last time, it's the last time I've ever been the last person to start a race. I thought I uh, was getting people's way if I started further to the front, but now I have to try and overtake everyone. But it's not too bad, like, there's not that many people in the race. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, it is more difficult than I thought. Definitely not a midfielder. Just, uh, I'm just pretty just about on the pace now, but... It, uh, yeah, there's a lot of people in my way, so I've been kind of zigzagging. So once it opens up a little bit, I should uh, be able to get a bit more speed up, but... I'll we'll have to see how much of a toll it takes for me. Kind of running like this is definitely not efficient. <laughs> <laughs> My dribbling skills aren't good enough to go around stuff, so just before there was a puddle in front of me, so kind of went straight through it, but got, got stuck in the puddle. And uh, yeah, I kind of just like hacked away to, to get it out. And I'm pretty sure I splashed a few people. Hope these dogs don't want the ball. No, nah, we're safe. And that's third place. In the half marathon which started 15 minutes after us. Absolutely flying. I think we're about almost 10k in. So he's pretty much doing three minute kilometers. I uh, slowed down a little. There's another dog in the course. So I wanna, I wanna stay behind him so I don't have to fight over my ball.
Yeah, it's lucky this course is pretty much just a trade out and back. It's got my head down the whole time, making sure I control the ball. I was playing indoor soccer twice a week until I went back to Canada about four years ago. And since then, I've probably touched the soccer ball twice, so I can remember. So a little bit rusty, but uh, it's getting better at the moment. If I lose control of the ball, I have to take it back to, to where I lost control. So I'm just praying that I don't lose control on a big downhill and have to chase it and run back up the hill. So I'm uh, pretty much right in target. I thought I had like maybe a one minute or two minute buffer, but all this zigzagging I've done here, it's now around about 300 meters extra. So if I run the second half and exactly the same time, I'll just get the record. And there's more straight dogs and runners in this race. They're absolutely everywhere. They don't seem to be interested in the ball, so I'll be pretty happy if uh, it stays that way for the rest of the race. This is definitely harder than I thought. For the race, I was thinking, how much can I break the record by? But if I beat it by a second, I'd be more than happy. Got uh, this is about 30 kilometres here, or almost, and I'm pretty much right in the same exact pace as halfway. So if I can get around 455 a kilometre, I should just scrape in. <laughs> Just, it was a little bit harder than I expected. Before the race, I was thinking, how much can I beat the record by? And later on, I really had to dig in. That's why I didn't take any film in the last 10k or so. Uh, but they made it by about two minutes or so. I'm not 100% sure what my time was, but I uh, definitely got there. So happy with that. And uh, I definitely have to improve my soccer skills because I was weaving a bit all over the place at times. And the weather today has been perfect. It was cool to start the race, now the race is over, the sun's out. And this could also be maybe the best finish line that I've ever been to. So we've got the band behind us, free food, but it's been cleaned out now. Table tennis, bruise ball. Bravo! <laughs> And finally the relax zone, where you put your feet up and lie back in the hammock if you want. Alright, on my way home now. That was a good day. Got the marathon by two minutes, but yeah, I was expecting to, to take a big chunk off the, off the uh, current record, but I probably didn't realise how tough it was to dribble for uh, football. Especially with my school level, it was kind of zigzagging around a bit. I think I did, according to my GPS, I did about I think 500 meters extra. Like a lot of the time your watch will show maybe 200 extra because it's impossible to run the absolute shortest line, but I definitely did a little bit of zigzagging. And a couple of times I had to run back because the rule is if you lose control of the ball, you have to go back um, and start a game from where you lost it from. But yeah, really happy with the result. Got five more days here in Turkey and then I'm off to Germany after that. So um, if you want to know where I'm going after that, uh, check the link below to my website 42.2.com and that's got all the schedule for the next two months or so and I'll be updating that soon.